February of 2019, I overdosed while driving and crashed my car in Denver, heading northbound on Monaco near 25th Avenue. The three months leading up to this point, I had been living in a sober living home and had completed detox. I also finished a 30-day treatment program, got a job, obtained a sponsor, and adapted to living in Southeast Aurora in the sober living home when I was exited for a curfew violation. I didn't have a plan B, which was why I was living out of my car when I did the shot of heroin and overdosed and crashed my car. I believe it was a combination of using alone, using heroin that was unknowingly laced with fentanyl, and not having a stimulant to mix it with is what caused me to overdose. I don't remember the crash. I remember waking up handcuffed to the gurney in an ambulance and not being able to see out of my eye. I felt something in my neck, and when I turned, I saw a paramedic sitting behind me, and I said, what happened? And he said, so, you like to shoot heroin? We found you unconscious under the dash, you hit a tree with your car, and we administered Narcan. We put a central line in your neck because you're a junkie and you don't have any veins. Yes, I was an IV drug user. And yes, I had just overdosed. I am a human being and I'm somebody's daughter, friend, and sister. Shaming me after saving my life is inappropriate. Would you have done that to a person who was revived after a heart attack? Once we arrived at the hospital, the medical staff sewed up my eye. I spent two days in Denver City Jail. The citation indicated that the police officer noted my breath smelled like alcohol and I was charged with a DUI. I never talked about the Narcan, nor the heroin overdose, and neither did the judge, my PO, the police officer's notes, nobody ever said anything about it. I pled guilty to a DUI and was sentenced to two years probation. Thank you to the person who saw me crash that day and called 911. Thank you to the paramedic who administered Narcan and saved my life, despite you stigmatizing me for my drug use. In 2021, I am a peer support specialist with Colorado Village Collaborative, a nonprofit organization that serves people experiencing homelessness through a transformative housing communities like our safe outdoor spaces and tiny home villages. Through a trauma-informed and harm reduction lens, I connect with people and meet them where they're at. I've found my life purpose in peer work and harm reduction.